Next, before carbs are stored as fat, you need to get over a thousand grams, and even then, the amount which is stored is minimum. Only fat can be stored as fat. Now, what is your take on that, Megan? Obviously, I, I know what you got there. Once again, I read so many studies. I, I, I saw that. It's it's fairly. I don't want to say it's new, but a lot of people are talking about it right now, right? Especially in a in a science circle. Uh, and once again, they did studies and they found out that you gotta for you to have a spillover effect where the carbs become fat, you gotta go eat insane amounts. Uh, but once again, that's uh, that's studies, right? And studies, some sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. It depends on the the population they use, the food they use, uh, the the factors involved in experimenting protocol, things like that. So it's too early for, for me to even comment on that. That's why I never made a video about it. I read that shit a while ago, but I didn't make a video about it because it's, it's too early. I got to experiment with that shit. But I think it depends on so many genetic factors. You know, somebody who has thyroid problems is going to get fucked on 1,000 grams of carbs. Somebody who has insulin resistance is going to get fucked on 1,000 grams of carbs. So, and I don't, I don't see humans. I like looking at the evolution of humans, you know. I don't see our ancestors eating 1,000 grams of carbs in a day. Uh, so I don't fucking know, uh, but as far as only fat can be stored as fat, I don't know, man. Some studies claim that only fat can be stored as fat, so you know you're not entirely wrong. But some studies also show uh, a spillover effect on even under a thousand grams of carbs. So once again, it's it's, it's tough to be safe. Uh, just be fucking careful, man. This is a really good question. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like even the scientists are divided on that. Uh, anybody who comes and tells you what oh, this study says that. I could come up and tell you what well, this study says that and they're both, you know, from famous universities. That's the problem with studies. That's why you got to balance it with the bro science. And that takes a long time because I got to observe and gather data and blah, blah, blah. So I don't think if I, if I fucking ate a thousand grams of carbs on zero fat, I get fat as fuck. That's for sure. Uh, my body is ridiculous. Next, how does strengthen lactose intolerance to improve protein shake digestion? Um, Some people say... I remember when I was lactose intolerant, I, I still am. When I start drinking a lot of milk, the first few days, obviously, my stomach is bloating. I'm farting all the fucking time. But after after a while, if I, as long as I don't stop, my digestion gets better and better and better. Uh, I tried it with also... Uh, who tried it out? I think Mo tried it. Because Mo was drinking a lot of milk. I don't remember. That was years ago. But a lot of people tried it. But, it, you know, they had um, lactose problems, started drinking a lot of milk. The first few days, obviously, it was a disaster. After a while, the body adapted. So, um... That's my own recommendation on that. Speak to your doctor, man. I'm not a licensed professional. Speak to your doctor. See what he says. But um, the best thing is to just keep drinking milk, man. I mean, it's all about survival. If the body realizes that the only chance it has of getting food is from milk, it's going to find a way, right? And the enzymes shouldn't be a problem because they should come from the milk, depending on what kind of milk you're drinking. Usually, the enzymes are in the fucking thing that you're eating. Uh, next... If you are losing weight and as if you are losing weight and as I'm working on it, and should I be? I'm reading what he's saying word for word, so that shit makes me sound illiterate. That's the nigga that wrote it. If you are losing weight and as I'm working on it, and should I be doing cardio or jumping rope every other day, like full body splits, you get more. Re what the fuck, man? Use punctuation. Should I just do it every day anyway? Which way is best? Damn. <sighs> If you are I'm now I gotta put punctuations in your own shit, so I might get a whole different meaning than what you intended. Use your punctuation, guys. If you are losing weight, should I be doing cardio to jump up in every other day? Yeah, I, I don't understand your question. I, I really don't, man. Try to rephrase it with one sentence at a time. Like one, two, three. That that that's a crazy I mean, I'm an immigrant, but damn son. Like <laughs> He just wrote one sentence and it's four paragraphs. And it's one sentence. The only punctuation you have is the last one. <laughs> All right. So sorry, bro. Just try to, re try, you know, try to rephrase that. Next. Been training for half a year with diet and training in check. No gains. Blood tests. And I've got low testosterone. 400 nanogram per deciliter at 17 years. That's pretty fucking low. Can this be the cause? Because I'm slacking. Um, obviously, well, first of all, when did you get your, your teach um, checked out? If you did it later on in the day, then you're guaranteed to have low um, low levels. That happened to me. You got to do them early in the morning. That's one. So do them early in the morning and then come back and report. But even later on in the day, 400 at 17 is low as fuck, man. That's the time of your life when you're hornier than a motherfucker. You should have, like, 
9,000. Blood test. And you be 24. Half a year. Half, I mean, six months. Don't let people tell you that six months is too is too early to see gains. No, nigga. The first six months, you see a lot of gains. Uh, your noob gains. So, I would say, maybe it's not some place apart, but you're not giving me enough info. I mean, obviously, yeah. If this is 400 nanograms in the morning, that's low as fuck. That's... That's older than a 70-year-old, I, I believe. Yeah, because five-something, that's like around a 60-year, 55, 60-year-old. Yeah, that's a 70-year-old's T-level. That's in the morning. You fuck, my dude. Just try to sure. watch my videos on how to increase your testosterone levels. That, that's, 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 that's fucked if it's in the morning. But um, I'm, a, I'm guessing that's probably the reason why, man. You, you're not showing me your training. You're not showing me your nutrition. So it's hard to have a verdict on that. All right. You want to add some? Hi. <laughs> yo, come on, son. <laughs> anyway, so, so I, I was like, yo, Hansa, let's, let's make a video and show how we came up with these insiders. Right. And we spent like the last 10 minutes laughing. Like, the first one is, you have to change. You have to change. 